So I know we had talked uh, just, uh, I think, what was it, last week or the week before last? Uh, it was last week. Last week. Okay. And I just wanted to follow up uh, with you to see um, if since the time we've talked, have you had some other thoughts? Mm -hmm. Okay. And like, was everything was from Nepal or from other countries too? I just, uh, you know, uh, I just wondered if you had any like follow on conversations with other people. Uh, if maybe mm -hmm. uh, uh, you heard some other news or uh, anything like that. Uh, so, about news, then uh, I think. Uh, it is not about the moon uh, Artemis mission. It is rather than uh, a blue origin uh, on SpaceX. So, like the blue origin is again oh, continuously working to get the uh, HLS mission contract from NASA, and due to which, uh, like there are certain. Uh, like daily a news is coming that uh, the NASA, let me check the tweet. I can't remember exactly what was that, but uh, the main thing was that, uh, that the NASA is, is like Blue Origin is actually fighting for getting that SLS contract from NASA, uh, which SpaceX has already done. And they are making, I don't think they are making some serious pro progress in what, the mission is, but rather than they are continuously uh, saying that, yeah, we can do that. And the, the main thing, what I think of Blue Origin is they aren't showing things that they could do, rather than they are just arguing with NASA to give that contract to them. Like, if you talk about SpaceX, and they are actually working and like there's they they some serious progress. Like, Booster 4 is prepared, C20 is. Uh, roll out to the uh, launch pad once again. So they are showing that, yeah, we can do it and they are showing by, by their action, but Blue Origin is just into the paper side, the theoretical side, not the practical side though. So I think the chances of getting the contract to Blue Origin is quite less, but not, uh, uh, not that, uh, it is not impossible to get that contract if NASA agrees on to some uh, terms and conditions and if Blue Origin say, uh, like redesigns its mission, then I think they could land up with the contract as a second option for the Artemis mission. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Congress needs to give them more money. Uh, right now, yeah. they only have money for the cheapest one. So they definitely don't have money for the cheapest and the most expensive. <laughs> yeah. And, and the main thing what I was like it's all geopolitics right because when the time was high in the uh, 1917 uh, or 1916 era when there was collision between like uh, the US and the Soviet Union then the every people of the US wanted that their country should be superior and they should go to space and that is when like US is basically uh, targeting what its uh, uh, citizen like and they fund accordingly. So the citizen wanted to establish NASA and US gave a lot of focus into space and uh, like they increased the budget of NASA so drastically. And that is what led uh, NASA go on to moon. But since the public interest and after the uh, dis uh, like dissolved, after this uh, Soviet Union collapsed, the public interest went out of competition and NASA focused on exploring rather than competing. And I think that is what ha is happening right now. And like, uh, I think see, Congress is not doing that good because the NASA's, like the budget of NASA is decreasing on an annual basis. And like earlier it was about, uh, to five to four years ago, it was about five billion to or four four point five billion, and right now it's three billion. So NASA needs uh, NASA is had to think about how they are gonna spend every penny. So 
they are they will be choosing uh, a a reliable uh, like a reliable rocket a reliable system that they they can uh, take it like so that they can use it to go to the moon and this is where spacex comes in because the, the main uh, benefit of having spacex is the first thing is they are they are moving rapidly the second thing is people are getting excited because of what spacex is doing like nobody had any interest before 2015 uh like before spacex landed the first booster and made it reusable so the, the, like 2015 was the time when the craze of space actually started again in the us citizens after they saw that yeah reus- uh, like reusable rockets are possible and then the new scheme of super heavy boosters and starship which will make multiplanetary and and the publicity of elon musk and the Uh, uh and the promises of what spacex is going to do and the um views of spacex is actually making uh us citizens more excited and also a fun uh like getting all all the private industry like rocket lab firefly um and all those private industry into space because before spacex started blue odyssey was a thing but the craze wasn't there and people wasn't were weren't that aware about uh, these space things and when uh, spacex came we saw a drastic change in space industry there was the born of uh, rocket lab uh, firefly and then i think that's relativity and and many more rocket industry that are going uh, and and due to the uh vision of making space uh like reusable and affordable for all then everybody is like now focusing on reusability rather than yeah just sending a rocket into space and then deorbiting it and burning it out so i think the the second reason is that elon musk has changed and spacex has changed the mentality of what people is thinking about space and which is uh like which is very essential part for nasa as i said earlier that public interest is what drives congress to give funds to nasa so this is the second reason and the third reason is that if you if you compare blue origin national team and spacex starship then we gonna see that uh, blue origin is just using two third of it like the uh, blue origin is just like the uh, lander Yeah, the blue origin is just using two third of as a reusable rocket, not entire system. But uh, SpaceX, on the other hand, is using like using the whole rocket, and that is a more critical thing as it will like even if it is using like blue origin is using two third, but to produce that uh, like that system, it requires some kind of money. and and the and the record and the rocketry system uh, rocketry industry is not so cheap that yeah if you leave those thing it will cost about 100 grand or 10000k then that's nothing like it's nothing like that it will cost about 50 to uh, 40 million dollar for that particular part so that also like adds as a, a uh, like a waste budget and the fourth thing is that if you compare the payload capacity of spacex to the payload capacity of blue origin then th- that is i think the main thing what uh, blue, uh, nasa wants because uh, nasa wants to get started as soon as possible they want the, the resources to be uh, there and so that the colony could start uh, like very quick because what i have heard is the artemis mission like uh, the apollo mission was about 72 75 hours for the longest it was no no yeah 72 75 hours and 175 hours for apollo 15 i guess or i don't know the data exactly but yeah it was a short period of time but what nasa is planning for its artemis mission is that the minimum time that astronauts are get uh, are going to spend on um, the surface of moon is will be about one week at least one week not less than that so you, you need to get at as like a lot of payloads so that you can work continuously on that and the 
and you cannot like just uh, re, uh, like launch a rocket again and again again and again just to send that quantity of uh, like materials back on moon so sending a rocket just a once like once a uh, time with a lot of payload is more uh, efficient than send and then launching lots and lots of rockets for just the same uh, amount of payload and and the like what i think is fifth thing is that uh, spacex can carry the uh, what the vehicles the the vehicles the what that's moon rover i think yeah where people can like astronaut can uh, drive it to and explore the places of moon and but if we are uh, considering the space and the volume of what blue origin has then it's pretty much like it just can like it can just uh, occupy uh, like mm, how can I say that yeah it can just uh, take a take few people about four to five people and just a limited amount of cargo with it not the whole uh, rover with it so that is the main thing what nasa is looking for because uh, nasa isn't gonna set, launch another mission for the sending the rover then again another mission for sending the solar panels and and re reactors and uh, building rovers and extractors so basically his basic is a all in one package and blue origin is a distributive system but i uh, yeah, i do so, one 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 thing though i've uh, successfully been able to interview a different person every day for the last uh, 600 days and i only have like an hour and a half before the day's over with and i haven't found somebody to interview yet so uh I'd like to uh, maybe uh, talk again in the future. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we can do that. But uh, um, it was good to see you again. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I like uh, when I saw you doing Namaste. Then I was like so shocked that yeah, to see uh, like our, because like Namaste is our culture, right? Like as you do like this, so I was pretty well, shocked and Indian and yeah, my. It was, so, yeah, like it's. I, I'm so happy to see that uh, you you guys are uh, like taking our cultures and that. So it it's really feel proud to be uh, in the days where now with uh, COVID, you know, this yeah. is the safe no, way. Yeah, <laughs> this is the yeah, this is the safe way because uh, touching hand is has become obsolete, and now this is the no normal norm. Are, are bowing, bowing safe yeah. too. As if you don't hit yeah. your heads together. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So uh, can you uh, give me uh, some more info about what is the countdown to moon interview will be look like? I, yes, yes. So I do the interview every single day with a different person, find out mm -hmm. what they think about our, um, you know, future in space, just like you and I had talked. So yeah. I, uh, been able to do one every single day for the past 600 days. And I want to make sure that I, I don't break my, uh, my uh, streak. Yeah. <laughs> like that's a pretty great commitment to do like a single interview every day and for 600 days. Well, that really... I'm, 600 days. I'm only 600 days into it. <laughs> <laughs> that really needs some a strong commitment and i i really wish that and i really hope that you continue it for uh, like more than thousand days and that will be awesome if you know some people that would be willing to talk to me i i hope that you can send them my way yeah sure i i will recommend uh like there are many friends who are willing uh, to share their ideas on uh, the space and the moon so I'll be sending you the links, uh, the profile links, and uh, you can uh, contact them there. I really appreciate it. Well, you have a good day, and we'll talk yeah. soon. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank have you. a good day. Bye. Uh, good night. Good night.